y'all. So, of course, it's me, Tara J. And I am here to tell you guys what I think is the difference or which one I like better. The Popeye's chicken, spicy chicken sandwich, or the KFC spicy chicken sandwich. I both got, I got no pickles on both of them. So, if you would like to know and see me do a mukbang, let me know. Well, not let me know. Stay tuned because I'm about to do it right now on both of these sandwiches. But before we get into that, I do want to make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel. So go ahead right now, subscribe to my channel. Don't wait and hit the bell right next to the subscribe button. So you know every time I post a video, okay? But anywho, let's just jump right into it. Before, before I get into pig in my face, I am going to tell you guys about my experience at the fucking, both of them, KFC and Popeye's. So I go to pick, um, KFC and I ordered the spicy chicken sandwich and I guess I didn't pull close enough to the to the window, but it's like, how close am I supposed to pull to the window? Why isn't y'all thing going out further enough for it to reach my car and I don't have to get out of my car? How dangerous is that? Y'all need to figure that out. KFC, that's why your drive through empty because your shit don't probably reach all the way to the person's car and ain't nobody trying to get up out the car. And then he like, really, really? Like, nigga, if you had your job, just say that. And then I go to KFC to get the KFC sandwich. And of course, I got to get, I mean, I KFC, Popeye's. I go to Popeye's to get the Popeye's sandwich. Of course, I got to get some fries because I love Popeye's fries. I love potatoes and fries just in general, right? So I go into the bag and my fries is at the bottom of my bag. You know, I, I don't blame the fries being at the bottom of my bag. At least if a few of them was inside of my, you know, the bag that they give you. Let me show y'all. That's why my bag ripped right now. But the bag that they give you, this is the bag that it comes in, right? Baby, when I tell you that the damn bag was not even touched by the fries and she threw my fries to the bottom of my bag, honey, I turned around so fast because I went through the drive-thru. And of course, I'm trying to eat the fries on my way home. So I go through the drive-thru and I realize my fries is dumped to the, at the bottom of my bag. What the fuck I look like eating fries from the bottom of the bag? Even though I'm about to eat these fries that's on the bottom of the bag, like you know how McDonald's do, some of the fries happen to fall out. That makes a difference. She's on, she gonna say, um... What is it? What what's wrong with your food? I'm not eating bad. I'm not eating fries from the bottom of the bag. Do I look like I eat fries from the bottom of the bag? Like I don't understand. You didn't even attempt to put these fries in this bag. That's your job. That's how you pack a bag and how you pack fries. Pack my shit. How you supposed to pack my shit? No, your fries just fell out. No, lady. And I pulled the paper out. You didn't attempt. This shit is closed. It ain't bunched. It ain't messed with or nothing. You did not attempt to put my fries in this bag. So give me a new set of fries. Long story short, she ended up giving me a new set of fries, talking about she don't want her fries touching the bag, and I had to correct her as she was back there. No, that is not what I said. I said I don't want my fries at the bottom of the bag, and that's the huge difference. And I got a new set of fries, and there's that. So let's go into eating, guys. <laughs> Be right back. If you hear that background noises, that's because I'm sitting in my kitchen and that's the refrigerator doing refrigerator things. But yeah, let's go ahead and tackle them both. Thumbnail. All right. So what we're gonna do is take them both out at the same time. So of course I got french fries. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue to eat my french fries from Popeyes. Take them off the KFC out the bag. So it is two sandwiches and I am like extremely hungry, but I don't know if I'm gonna eat, end up eating both of these sandwiches, but I might, <laughs> not even gonna lie. So we about to dig in guys. I'm just addicted to potatoes and fries. Like a for real addiction, but um, 
Look at my nails. I got my nails done today and they are so pretty. I got my feet done today too, but that's, I ain't gonna pick my lip feet up to show you guys my toes. But anywho. KFC, spicy chicken sandwich. And the Popeye's spicy chicken sandwich. So let's take a look at what it looks like for a starter. Let's check it out the difference. So this is, the KFC one is definitely much smaller than the Popeye's one. The chicken is This is KFC, this is Popeyes. Well, I guess I could hold it upright, okay. This is KFC, this is Popeyes. You can tell the difference with the chickens and the buns are even different. I don't know why, but this looks more buttery and shiny. And then this one just looks like a basic hamburger bun you buy from the store. So let's dig in and see what it's, you can obviously see the difference between the chickens too. I'm not, this one looks more crispy. This one don't even look like it's cooked all the way. But it might be. This also looks kind of like a chicken breast and this kind of looks like a boneless chicken thigh. I might be wrong, but that's what it looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and tackle the KFC one first. And let's see what it tastes like. Oh, hold on. First of all, let me open it up. This is KFC. And then I got the sauce that comes with it on the other side. KFC, let's look at um the Popeyes, cause I did say no pickles. So this is what this one looks like. Pretty much the same, but chicken is definitely different. I noticed that it's sauce. Popeyes give you sauce on both sides and then both, both buns. Popeyes give you sauce on both buns and KFC don't. KFC only give you sauce on the bottom bun and then it looks like they put, <laughs> so it look like how I make my sandwiches. So I put sauce on one side and I smack it together and then I separate it again. That's what it look like before I put my meat on there. But yeah, let's go ahead and let me try the KFC one. Not bad, not bad at all. Side note, I got this Snoop Dogg. He had red wine and he had rose there in Mariano's today. I thought, let me go ahead and try this out. 19 Crimes, <laughs> Cali Rose. I'm gonna go ahead and try this out, see what it's hit for, and then let you guys know. But stay tuned for the video because I'm, I'm gonna record the video and what I think it is. I'm looking forward to drinking that. <clears throat> Snoop Dogg, he rich as shit. Uncle Snoop. This is the Popeye's one. Let's try this one. Okay. So. The Popeye's one is definitely more crunchy. It's definitely spicier too. It's just bigger. My battery is about to die. It's just bigger overall. It does taste better, but it's not a huge difference. I'm not even gonna lie to you. It's really not that drastic difference. I think that it's more of a biased thing that people don't really like KFC like that. But honestly, like, it's really not a huge difference. The only difference is that the Popeye's one is really spicy. Well, not really spicy, but you can actually taste that you ordered a spicy chicken sandwich. As opposed to the KFC, you can't really taste that as a... I don't really consider that a spicy chicken sandwich because it just tastes like a regular chicken sandwich. Just plain with some, some kind of sauce on there. So, yeah, guys, that's that. I'm going to go ahead and enjoy one of these sandwiches. No, I'm not even going to lie. I might eat both of them because I'm starving. But that's that, guys. Let me know what you guys think of my thoughts.
Mm. Also, the Popeyes one, it just seems like it's more filling. But again, I said it could be the bias thing. Like, I would prefer Popeyes over KFC. Most people would, so it could just be a biased mental thing. Who knows, guys? But that is that, beautiful people. Let me know what you guys think of this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell right next to the subscribe button so you know every time I post a video. And go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up because it definitely deserves it. Peace.